It's morning already? <sighs> that went by fast, huh, Billy? Billy? <sighs> You're not much of a talker. All right, I'm done sitting around. It's time to get a move on. Wish me luck. Would you please shut up? It's not the first time I've heard those words. I heard that. Okay, Billy, I'm sorry, but I need to borrow this. I'll thank you later. Hey, Guardy, can I ask you something? <clears throat> well, I hope no one heard that. Now, where is my princess? Great! <laughs> Wrong way! I don't want to hear it from you, Rashad. Pencil, pencil, let down your hair. Coming. How unladylike of you. You didn't even bother to get ready. Oh, my bad, Lord Uno. I will come prepared next time. Get ready, because next time's about to be real soon. You gotta go! You good, my lady? Yep, I'm alright. Ah! Well, that was easier than I thought. You know, I think they just need to work on the number of guards stationed. Hands up, prisoners! You've lost. And what makes you think that? You're now faced with an entire army of soldiers that you think you aren't in any sort of danger. He's got a point. Precisely! I am a strong believer that there is always a way to go. Felix, come with me. In the world, are they doing? Do do you see it? Huh? Uh, see what? You know the thing. What thing? Watch and learn. Au revoir. After them. There's always a sewer. Every time. You just love being right, don't you? Now, if only we knew which way to go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a guard by his toe. If he hollers, let him go! There's gotta be something we can do. Well, do it fast! Out of the air. Where'd you get that? An old friend. Thanks, Billy. 
They just don't stop coming. Indeed. Wait, look! Hurry! Haha! -ha, you couldn't catch me! <sighs> Please hand this back to my cellmate when you get the chance. Honey, we've got another problem. Felix! You're 15 seconds late. Come on, give me a break. Uh, I've been slacking on exercise. Yeah, yeah, princess. We've got a few things to work on, you and me. I'm happy to see you both made it out safely. Don't you worry, it was all Una. She carried me through. I'm sure she did. So, how terrible was it? No, no, no. How awesome was it? Trust me, it was quite the time. I'll be sure to tell you all about it at dinner. You know, the only reason you're here is because my guards let the gaze right open. Maybe they should train their brains more than their bodies. Ha! Ah, you're very right, Una. You're always a pleasure to work with. No, no, the pleasure is all mine. I assume after this we'll need to reschedule, yes? Indeed. Give us a couple of months, and we'll be ready. Next time for sure, you two. Got it? Got it. We'll be there. Great. I shall send your payment in the coming days, once I've reported this to the higher ups. Sounds great. Thank you again, sir. Okay. I can't wait any longer. I have an announcement to make. Marty will be joining us for dinner. <gasps> How exciting! We haven't seen him in years. Uncle Marty! I know, it's very exciting. I honestly thought he forgot about us at this point. Nope, I received a letter from him this morning and he'll be there. Fingers crossed a necromancer doesn't cross his path before them. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of years ago, long before our village was founded, back when the mountains were hills and the oceans were mere puddles, there existed a small group of people who could control and shape the very forces that bind our world. These beings of near unlimited potential, called keys, each held full control of a powerful element. Some of these elements could change the world itself. Earth, which rose the mountains and nurtures the soil we stand on. Water which filled the oceans and feeds the rivers that water the plants which keep our bellies filled. Air, that gives us our breath and blows the wind. And fire, that keeps us warm and powers our forges. Then, there were the elements that more indirectly, or in one case more directly, shaped our world. Life, which created the plants and animals around us. Death, which prevents any one species from gaining too much power. Creation, which gives us our intelligence and our ability to create villages and cities to live in. And finally, Void, which grants a select few of us a little bit of magic. Together, the keys ruled over our world. Eventually, though, their reign came to an end. A group of their children who inherited their powers, known as Kais, rose up and overthrew the keys. For all their power, they were blind to the plot that led to their downfall. Using a special weapon, the Kais ended the era of the Keys and took their place and titles. Wait, so there's other people like Uncle Marty? Precisely. Although some are deceased like I explained, we're not entirely sure which Keys and Kais are still alive, because the legends have been retold and rewritten countless times throughout history. If it's been rewritten so many times, how can we know if any of it's true at all? That, we do not know for sure. We can only assume that our book is correct. Theo, Rose, will continue tomorrow. Please read half of the next chapter before class. Got, Got it. it. So, what are your plans for the rest of the afternoon? Uh, you know, I 
wish I could hang out by the beach, but I've got to help my parents get ready for dinner tonight. Oh, I see. Don't worry about it, Rose. I'll see you at dinner, okay? Can't wait. What are you looking at? <laughs> uh, I was just gonna say, you've got a couple of plants that look ready for harvest. I guess you're right. Looks like we're having potatoes with dinner. Sounds good to me. Was school. It was fun. We're finally learning what Uncle Marty's like. That's great. You should tell him all about it at dinner. <laughs> we'll see. How's Theo? We're good. How's Mom? We're good. <laughs> hey, uh, can you hammer this? Sure thing. Steak, check. Chicken, check. Potatoes, check. Fruits, check. Alcohol, check. Drinks for the kids, check. Honey, I think we've got everything. The only thing we're missing are the guests. Looks like I spoke too soon. Hello, hello. I am Una of Maplewood and would like to sell you my children. Come on in, guys. How are you? I'm great. Long time no see. Because it totally hasn't been like six hours or anything. <laughs> time goes by slowly in paradise. Everyone, come take your seats. Dinner will be served as soon as the others arrive. <gasps> Marty, it's so good to see you. No, no. The pleasure's mine. Everyone's waiting for you. Come on. Marty! Welcome back. Indeed. Uncle Marty! I'm so glad I can make it this time. Things have been busy, you know. Marty and his schedule. Always so busy. <laughs> the reason we've all gathered today is to celebrate Una. Oh. What did she do this time? I'll let her explain. As I'm sure you know, Marty, Felix and I's new job is to test prison defense systems by getting locked up and attempting to escape. This morning we escaped the highly appraised detention center Cthulhu. That's great. Very impressive, Una. Your thieving skills will stick with you forever. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So, Marty, what have you been up to recently? Being a key and all. I've actually been traveling a ton, mostly going to remote villages and helping with what I can. On top of that, I've also been training to better my magical ability. I have a sick new outfit. One of these days, I need to show you. So Quinn, I heard that you've started a blacksmithing business here in Maplewood. How's that going? Very well, actually. Evelyn and I are the most well-known blacksmiths in the area. <laughs> Don't give me any credit. If you had told me five years ago that I'd end up being a farmer, I would have thought you were crazy. But here I am today doing just that. Well, sometimes it's nice to get out of your comfort zone. I would say the same thing about becoming a teacher. But you're a very good teacher, Miss Shay. Thank you, thank you, sweetie. I do my best. I'm so happy for all of you. Everyone's been living the lives we deserve to live. I'll get that. Why, hello there. My name is Marty. Who are you? Hello? My apologies, sir. I'm a bit of a wreck. My children have fallen in a ditch in the forest and I can't get them out myself. Do you think you can assist me? Of course, give me one second to grab my things. 
I'm helping the man outside get his children. They're stuck in a hole. It should only take him uh, 15 minutes to an hour. Would you like us to come with you? No, no, it's okay. I just finished a round of training this morning, so I can handle it myself. I'll wait for you on the front porch. Be safe. Watch out for any wolves. Don't worry, I'll just send them flying. <laughs> I don't believe I caught your name. It depends on the context. I'm called Thorn, or Thorin, in some places. Others call me Misty. My children call me Father, as they should. But my more extended family calls me Vile. Everyone else, much to my chagrin, calls me Vance. I think I'll stick with Thorin? I thought you might. Now. Let us search these vast forests for my two children. Indeed. Watch your step, lad. This is the hole. Oh, thank you. But if this is it, where are your children? And therein lies the question. And that would be Sadie. Where'd it come from? You go this way, and I'll go the opposite. Eventually we'll find something. Not sure what we're looking for as of yet besides the children. I mean, but we'll find something. Thorin, I can't find anything! Where are you? Great history, if I should have marked which ways I turned. Thorin! Thorn! Vile! Vance! Finally done something right in your life, Clarence. Who are you and where did you find that? <gasps> oh, Marty, how little you know. Has dear old Davron not told you about me? <sighs> Figures that rat wouldn't. Well, I do love a good mystery. So why don't you go ask your friend about me? I know he's still out there, but you... You know what? Maybe I won't give you the chance to see him again. Time to die! Hold on. What? Why do you hate me? You have wronged me. Your very existence is an affront to me. The fact that the power of life has picked a new host is more than enough reason for me to want you dead. I haven't done anything to you. Do we have to do this? Did you not listen to a single word I said? Never send a pawn to do a king's job. Is this because of Davrin? Ah, yes. Him. Ah, uh, how do I put this? I know. I'll, I'll spell it out for you. Y E S. That pacifist buffoon has caused me more agony and anguish than you could possibly understand. I mentioned before the greatness of the mystery. And now, let me tell you. The only mystery left here is what words you'll use to beg for your miserable, steaming, wretch of an existence. I won't let you ruin everything I and countless others have worked their entire lives for. A poor choice of words, if I do say so myself. I will t 
turn you into a bloody mass of writhing agony. We don't know. He didn't come back. Danny and Shay are looking for him right now. No. It can't be. Marty! Are you there? Marty! <sighs> it's no use. He probably went- Look! That's the jacket he was wearing, right? It is. What could this mean? Oh dear. <gasps> no way! He's supposed to be dead! He is. I'm sure of it. This is much worse. A last year before I smack at the Inidongbi. But sir, I am trying my hardest. How? I don't deal with slackers on my ship, Pepto. Now off with that wine unless you're interested in walking the plank. Yes sir, right away sir. I'm pretty sure my parents are in any need of more wine. It's loaded nonetheless. When will everyone be ready? They're right behind me. This is the last time. I'll be taking this much stuff. I offered to carry it for you. I don't need you to do the heavy lifting for me. I can do it myself. Then don't complain about it. Your future buccaneers be feisty this time around. They're my parents. What did you expect? Ah yes. My favorites have arrived. Where will I be taking you this time? <laughs> Why do you always ask? We go to Oakhold every year. Right. I seem to forget you memorialized that purple guy around this time of season. What an idiot. It's no worry, Captain. Alright then. I'll be getting you sailing off here soon. It'll be about a two day trip to Birch. Oh, sorry. Oakhold. Dearest Dakota, we're back once again to celebrate your many sacrifices for our being here. Although some of us are new to this family, we would each like to thank you for all that you've done to better our lives as one big family. Thank you, Dakota. Thank you for everything. Thank you for helping me give my children a better life. Thank you for saving me and several others from carrying out unimaginable deeds. I am thankful for everything you stood for. And I'm thankful for the peace that you've brought me and my family. Thank you, Dakota, for keeping me in check and harassing me when you did. It shaped the person I am today. I'm going to miss you, Dee. I've said it all before, and I don't know what else I can say than thank you. I wish you the best wherever you are. Remember the rule. If you can't carry it down the stairs, don't grab it. We'll be back next year, so don't feel like you have to take more than you can carry. This place... 
still gives me the creeps. He was a good mage, so I'm sure there's nothing bad here. How could there be? Old cold has been abandoned ever since we left. It's almost as if nobody knows what happened here. What exactly are we looking for this time? I don't know, but I call my room. It's my books, my locket, my chest, my plate, my chair, oh, my bed, my bed, my keys, my window shades, my candle, my papers, oh, chains, my chains. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell does she have a need for chains? Don't you worry about it. A flood of nostalgia is hitting me right now. I wonder what Dakota's room is like. <laughs> That's one sudden burst of energy. Indeed. Dakota, Dakota, what kind of trinkets were you hiding in here? Ooh, pretty necklace. Wait. What's that? Huh. Guys, I might have found something useful. Bring it out here. It's a good thing we checked up here. Yeah, but what is it? I believe it was his journal, but I'm not entirely sure. Odd. What the? Not this time. Not this time. Not this time. Don't worry about me. What in the hell was that? D Dakota? Are, are you there? It, it can't be him. He's dead. Then what in Gistrief was that? Look, read the writing. The heading says Ancient L-O-T-K Relic, and there's a picture of it. What could this mean? There's nothing like this in the latest version of the Legend of the Key. What just happened? That book is enveloped in magic. We just messed with that magic. I want to go home. Me too. Can we just get out of here? Not until we take that book with us. So you're telling me that after that, you want to keep it? Of course. Did you not hear the mage's voice? This could mean that we can still contact him. Or it means that we should do what he said. Find the sword. Didn't you hear? Yes, we all heard. But the question is, what sword? It's not specific at all. This is exactly why we need to bring the book back with us and do research on it. Fine, but it's going in your house. I'm not having my beautiful place explode. You could always go somewhere other than Maplewood. Smart thinking there. We've got nothing to lose. <clears throat> And what happens when it kills one of us? I don't know, but it's a risk that I'm willing to take. Hey, what in the world was that noise? Sounded like a uh, big bang, right? It was just an explosion, that's all. All right, the maple will we go. Still is school tomorrow, Rose, so I would advise that you go to sleep now, okay? May I please stay up to finish reading? No. Yes. Yes, you you may. It seems like every time our lives go back to normal, something else comes up. 
That's part of life, honey. Personally, a little bit of chaos is just right for me. I just hope that chaos doesn't turn into another one of us going missing. I'm sure Marty's out there somewhere. It's only a matter of time before he shows up. I hope you're right. Gistrief! You know what to do. Grab something sharp and head upstairs with Rose. Don't go near any windows. Okay. Remember to scream if anything goes wrong. <laughs> 